Okay. K-12 is the enhanced basic education that we are utilizing right now, referring to the curriculum from kinder to grade 12. My personal review about that is that it wasn't a perfect curriculum. Perhaps it committed lapses and lots of mistakes that brought little gaps and created complex structure of education system. But to me, that's totally fine. No one and nothing is perfect. Despite of the imperfections of the K-12 curriculum, I can proudly say that it is somehow effective especially to the young and new generations why it's because as i observed in the curriculum learners became the center of the classroom and instructions in which it made the younger ones to feel appreciated worthy and they felt valued wherein their individual interests and skills are enhanced and developed respectively in the other hand, in my program, which is the Bachelor of Elementary Education, or also known as B.E.D., Major in Content Education, this program is really important because with this program, it produces high leading edge elementary teachers that would prosper the wisdom in educating the children, building the foundation of knowledge to be installed in the hearts and minds of the young ones through applying the strategies or methods learned from this program. This program may be easy as what others expected, but the truth is it is far from what they think because B.E.D. is much more complex since we will be dealing the lessons to be teach, the attitudes of learners, as well as the strategies in teaching of English, mathematics, science, social science, Filipino, music, physical education, and health, both in primary and intermediate grades. Difficult, isn't it? But when this program gets hard, I'll strive harder. The K-12 curriculum was only applied when I graduated grade 10 junior high school. So for the 10 years of education, I have been neglected to the fact that I don't belong to smart students which they are focusing on intelligent students only, the teachers of course. Teachers only rely to smart ones and they make efforts for them. While in a student like me who is average, we tend to receive not as much as with the smart ones effort. They just teach us this and that and if we don't learn, they won't mind. It, but they will proceed to the next lesson instead just because they have set scheduled already. And like with the smart ones, they are having discussion from both students and teachers, lucky to them. And when I was grade 11 in Colegio de San Antonio de Padua, K-12 curriculum was applied and I was fortunate that time because through the K-12 curriculum, it developed some of my skills and talents that I never knew before. Because in K-12 curriculum, it emphasizes on enhancing the skills of the students, preparing for the outside world, shaping the individual students to become productive and innovative when it comes to generating ideas and I can proudly say that I I am a product of that one. However, as I reflect on myself, if I should be sad that K-12 only applied to me when I was grade 11, but then I came to realize that I should be more way happy. Wanna know the reason? It's because there were lots of things that I experienced it together with low and average students alone, excluding the smart ones. With that experience, it helps me to know different students with their behaviors and attitudes. Smart ones are easy to read, but low and average students, they are complicated, right? But since I lived myself with them for the past 10 years, I will be able to read them as much as possible. So it was not all unlucky to not experience K-12 as early as in grade 1. Everything happens for a reason. And as an aspiring elementary educator, it's for me to find out. Hmm. I wonder if my teachers have reviewed the textbooks we use in high school. Hmm. Uh -huh. I think they did not because they were like content based at that time and they don't add further information about a particular topic. So what was written in the book or what they see in the book, only that they're going to discuss it. They didn't even review it for in case there are some alternative activities to be applied on or at least thinking if it was relevant to the lives of their students but they didn't do it. They didn't put much effort in reviewing the textbooks of those contents written in the books of what connection this textbook implying to teach to the students. I wonder if instructional materials we are using now will not be used in the future. Hmm. I think 
yes, it will not be used in the future. The fact that the world is upgrading more advanced ideas emerge and traditional way of teaching learning instruction will be no longer practiced by the school. Perhaps as of now, we are slowly utilizing the technologies in delivering the lessons. Visual aids are no longer needed since we have PowerPoint to be shown in television. Teachers and students post and submit the activities on social media platform just like Google Classroom, Facebook, Google Drive, and Messenger. The world is evolving and we don't stay in one place, but rather we move to next and better life in easy life with at full ease. I wonder if what I have learned now is still be relevant in the future. Hmm. I think only few of my learnings will be relevant in the future. The rest of my learnings will not. And those few relevant learnings, not all will be applicable in the future. Maybe they just still have the connection that links the past or somewhat a history of the information that I am dealing in the future. For example, I learned this year in Lesson 18 that even there are multiple models of curriculum evaluation to be found in the internet, I learned that the three best models are one CIPP model with Daniel Staple Beam, two Stakes Continence model by Robert Stake, and three Eisner's Combinator Shift model by Elliot Eisner. And those three are maybe the best models for now. But who knows that someday in the future, better models will come to exist and may replace these three. The old three models will be still relevant in the future, but not much applicable as it is today because there are other three models to be used appropriately in the future. Time will change, world change. I wonder if evaluation of curriculum will still be a task of the teacher. Hmm. Um, I think it would be still a task for a teacher to evaluate the curriculum. It's the job of the teachers to provide quality education and we can only determine the quality if the curriculum is evaluated. Is it effective or not? Is it relevant or not? Is it essential or not? The answer is for the teachers to find out. The evaluation is to be done by the teachers since they are the ones that implement in the classroom, specifically the daily curriculum which is the lesson plan but to clarify something about the evaluation of curriculum it is not only a task of a teacher but rather it is involved with many people such as school admins school staff teachers learners parents and community and to emphasize the teacher although many people involved in this evaluation still the main responsible of the task is the teacher yes the teacher is the main responsible to evaluate the curriculum although there are lots of people to be involved in this but still the teacher is the main responsible I wonder if there is really a need to evaluate the curriculum. Hmm. Uh, I think, yes, there is really a need to evaluate the curriculum since we are aiming a better and more comprehensive curriculum to be used in teaching students. We evaluate curriculum because we want to provide better education and more enhanced instructions to children as they build foundation of knowledge from time to time. Aside from that, we evaluate curriculum just to adapt the new environment and new ideas that are more relevant in our present time. Also, we evaluate curriculum to determine the effectivity of education and must exclude unnecessary information and rather add most essential learning competency that would develop and enhance the skills of the learners as it would be needed to perform in their adult time in the outside world. So, all in all, this assignment number 11 in lesson 18, which entitled Models of Curriculum Evaluation, the summary of my learnings is that the curriculum evaluation is needed and not only one model is used in that because we recognize the difference of perspectives and curriculum is changing from time to time. When someone will ask me if I regret for not able to experience K-12 curriculum during my elementary grades at early time, I will answer them that I'm sad, but I'm way more happier to experience both curriculum the old and the new one. So here's my palm. Curriculum is a guide and the teacher will drive. The learner learns by doing. Learning takes place ongoing. Thank you!